This project is just part one of our four-part Kubernetes series, which takes you from zero experience, that's this project, all the way to deploying a containerized app that's in parts two and three. And then in part four, you get your first taste of advanced Kubernetes management. This project, this specific one that we're doing now, is about deploying your very first Kubernetes cluster, learning what it does, and why people love Kubernetes along the way. Now, if you don't know what the term Kubernetes cluster means, we'll be talking about that very soon. But just know that when you're working with Kubernetes, you absolutely need to be thinking about containers, not as singular containers, but as groups of containers. And clusters is one of the ways that you can think about a whole group of containers that is running a containerized application. Let's just go through what we're going to do in this project using this diagram. First things first, we're going to launch and connect to an EC2 instance. That's this thing over here. And what's the second thing? The second thing is you're going to create your very own Kubernetes cluster. And that is something we're going to be using this handy tool called EKS. CTL for number three is monitoring cluster creation using cl cloud formation. Yeah, cloud formation ends up being a bit of a surprise guess, not a surprise anymore since you're seeing this now. But cloud formation is actually going to be the tool that helps us with creating our Kubernetes cluster. And then finally, what was the last thing? you need to figure out how you can access your cluster. And that's when we'll be using IAM, which is connected to the service that we're going to use to see and interact with our Kubernetes cluster. That service is called EKS. Cool. You're not expected to know everything that I've just mentioned just now. That was a bit of a summary of what we're about to do. You don't need to know how all of that works. That's what this project is about. So what's a pro project? Enough teasing from me. A pro project is an exclusive selection of advanced Nextwork projects. So compared to the free projects in our collection, with a pro project, you get to tackle harder challenges. You get to build some complex solutions that integrate more tools. You can already see that this is the very, very first project of our Kubernetes series, but you're already integrating more tools than most projects would in the very, very first part of a series. If you think about some of the other series you might have seen that's in our free project collection, they probably look a bit simpler when you're just looking at the very first project. All right. You also get to work with some in-demand skills in the market with a pro project like Kubernetes Terraform, multi-cloud architecture, Jenkins. There's also another one that I learned today that was related to Kubernetes. Oh, I can't for the life of me remember its name right now, but every single time a Nextwork student mentions a key skill or a key tool that they like to learn, we have always been collecting this very exciting list of tools that you'll get to now work with, now build with using a pro project. As you might notice, these skills and these tools are cloud agnostic. A lot of them are. You don't have to use Kubernetes with AWS. You don't have to use Terraform with AWS, so on and so forth. So we're truly getting into a space where you're really building your expertise in cloud and creating cloud solutions, moving a little bit further away from just solely AWS solutions. Because once you work with these broader cloud agnostic skills, you're truly building a wider holistic understanding of how cloud solutions work. So it's very exciting. You get to solve some real world problems. That's right. This means companies that are facing real world problems, day to day tasks that a DevOps engineer should be doing, you'll get to hear exactly what those problems are and also even get project briefs, for example, in collaboration with some real world companies. So that's pretty cool.